Hey, this is Becky from Mountain Puppy. I'm coming to you for the last time this spring to talk about my cockapoos. They get to go home in just over two weeks right now. Um, right now they all have deposits for them and we have a backup deposit. So probably don't have any more this time around, but we will have more in the winter. Probably ready to go home February or March. Um, and so today we're just going to talk to you about what they look like. This is partly for the new families, but also for people who are interested in what the puppies might look like for next time too. So this is our first girl. We're talking about Jasmine. And they all got a little wet face because they just got a little bit of milk from mom. She doesn't nurse them anymore, but occasionally if they get her, she'll let them have a little suck of milk. Did you get a little milk, Jess? Yeah. So Jasmine is um, kind of on our blonde side. She has nice floppy long ears. Um, both the parents have long ears, so she's she's starting to get that. She's got mostly she's just blonde. She has a little lighter blonde right up here on her neck, but she's just this dark blonde that's so cute with these really adorable ears. She reminds me a lot of the lady and the lady in the tramp um, puppy dog. That lady was a was a cocker spaniel that looked a lot like this. She's also starting to get her curl. They got lots of curl in their waviness in their hair and this will get curlier and if you can see her ears are getting really curly. This is Petunia and Petunia is like a darker strawberry blonde, um, maybe like darker blonde colored pup and she has real long ears also. She's a little wet from being with mommy. Do you want to make this? Thank you. And she has this cute white spot on her head. She has a white socks on her feet and her chest has got white on it too. She's got a lot of cute little abstract markings. She's really sweet and really gentle, aren't you? Dude? And she's a kissy face. Thank you. So this is Petunia. This is Marigold and Marigold is one of our girls too. Oh, she's kissy face too. Yes. Thank you, Marigold. Marigold is a, like a dark blonde uh, or light brown, I guess you could call her. Um, she has a lot of white on her chest. Her eyebrows are white, which is really pretty. And she has a little bit of white socks on her feet, not too much. A little white on her tail. We keep all our puppies' tails. We don't cut tails. Um, I would say she's on the smaller side right now of our girls. And Marigold's curls are coming in really tight. She has real tight curls so far. Um, in her head, on her ears. And her wave is pretty curly. She's about probably, I would say you're probably my curliest girl. So that's Marigold. This is Violet, and she's my only tricolor girl. Tricolors are actually kind of rare, so this is exciting when we get one. She's black mostly. She's got cute wave coming in. Black ears. She's got this cute black around or sorry, brown around her face, brown eyebrows, brown feet and under her leg is brown and it's really symmetrical which is cool and then she's got this white chest too which makes her tri-color and as she grows it's just gonna get cuter and cuter because it'll get all those little colors will get fluffed out right when you get curly you kissy face she is an adventurer she loves to run around the yard and all of that and this is lavender and lavender is the last of our girls and she's our only black and white one she is mostly black with this cute white under her face, white on her chest, and white socks on all of her feet, and a little, yeah, no, not really any white on the tail. Sometimes they get a little white on the tail, but she didn't get it. Um, and she's really curly, aren't you? Are you really curly? She's the snuggle bunny of the group. She loves cuddles. She's got these really cute like curls coming in on her legs. She's going to be a beautiful dog. Very silky too. Um, sweet, sweet girl that she is. And that's lavender. First of the boys, this is Basil. Basil is our most reddish, dark brownish red pup. And he has lots of abstract on him. He's got white paws, white socks on all feet. He's got this white on the back of his neck, white on his head, white a little bit in his mustache. And then he's got this chest with a lot of white on it. He's also kind of a tiny guy. He was our tiniest puppy of all of them. And he's kind of stayed a, a little bit tinier than the others. But boy, he likes to eat. So you might not stay like that forever, huh, Basil? Very mellow boy. You can see he's just really sweet and cuddly. And that is our first boy, Basil. This is our second boy. His name is Thicket. And Thicket is a very blonde boy. 
He's got lots of just beautiful blonde curls. He's got a cute little face. Something about his face is a little different. It's a little squared off, I think. That's different. He's got a little white on his chest. Not very much, though. And he's got a white little tip on his tail. Mostly, though, he's this beautiful blonde color, and he's starting to get curled out. He's a sweet guy. He's kind of on the beefier side of the puppy, so he might weigh uh, maybe a little bit more than some of them. They're, both their parents are 25 pounds, so we expect most of them to be just about 25 pounds when they're born. But that is Thicket. This is our third boy, and this is Gardner. And Gardner is like Thicket's twin. The only difference is a tiny bit in weight and just a tiny bit in coloring, not very much. He's a sweet little blonde boy too, mostly blonde, lots of curl on him, cute, cute face, very cute face, and he's got just a little white on his chest right there, right? So this is Gardner, and this is our last boy and our last puppy of the nine, and this is Aster, and Aster has uh, kind of that same blonde color as Thicket and Gardner are. He has a little bit more abstract color in him. He's got a white top to his head. He's got white eyebrows. He's got a little white on his nose by his whiskers, white socks on his feet, and a big white chest right there. So when that all puffs out, it's gonna be real pretty too. He is a sweetheart. Aster is a really cuddly little guy. And that is all of our puppies. So just so you know, if you're looking at this after the fact and interested in another litter of our puppies, we are an hour south of Salt Lake City. We have puppies one to two times a year. Um, we are a small family run business, so we only have a couple dogs that we breed. Um, our puppies come to you with lots of different trainings and a health guarantee and lots of love and they live in our home with us and are with our kids. Um, so uh, if you're interested in a puppy at another time, you're welcome to look at the website, mountainpuppies.com and give me a call and we can see if we can help you. We even have puppies out of state. I think by, by the time these puppies go, we should have puppies in about 15 states in the United States. And we're looking at some international um, shipments too. So I hope you have a good day. Thanks, bye.